start with this really, really long sort of ribbon-like muscle here that goes from the iliac crest, right, and bends around like the knee, the inner part of the knee, the medial part of the knee. What are we looking at there? Longest muscle of the body? No? Sartorius, yeah, that's good. Sartorius muscle, right? It means a tailor's muscle in Latin, right? So roughly kind of an S-shaped muscle that helps you to, gives you the initial um, sort of mnemonic there. Sartorius starts with an S. Um, not an extremely strong muscle, um, does do some um, abduction, does do a little bit of flexion of the knee. And then we have a really big strong muscles here, the entire group that's in the anterior part um, of the leg. What are we looking at here? What's the name of the group? Yeah. All right, the quadriceps um, muscle group. Foreheaded muscle, right? You can see superficially here three parts of the quadriceps that you need to be able to identify. Centrally, right, this sort of feather-shaped muscle right here. What's this one called? Straight up and down, muscle fibers. Rectus femoris, right? Rectus, straight up and down muscle fibers, femoris, and the femoral region. All right, these two are easier to remember, right, because they're part of the of a group it starts with a B. The vastus muscles, right. So this is what vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, right. We can remember vastus, big muscles, right, medialis and lateralis, pretty straight. Right, so all the muscles of the quadriceps here go and attach to the tibial tuberosity, and those are the muscles that do extension of the knee. Rectus femoris. The IT band is cut on this cadaver because somebody got a little bit choppy um, when they were doing the dissection. This is the the, the name of the muscle here is the tensor fascia latae, which you guys are not responsible for. But this is what people commonly call the IT band. It would go and connect here all along the lateral sides um, of both legs. So there'd be one here and of course one over here on the other leg. Um, and that's a muscle that does um, abduction, right? Pulls your, pulls your legs out like when you're doing a jumping jack, for instance. Um, it isn't one that you're responsible for, but you can not see it there. Um, we also pointed out that you can see a little bit of the leg musculature on this, uh, on the lower leg musculature on this cadaver on the front. Um, so you could potentially see what's the muscle that makes up most of the shape of the calf here, most superficially. Yeah, the gastrocnemius, right? You can pronounce the C, it's in there, gastrocnemius, but correct pronunciation is without the C. Underneath um, the, underneath the gastrocnemius, although it's hard to tell, Sometimes you can see it, see it a little bit on this cadaver. The muscle I'm touching here that's underneath the gastrocnemius is another muscle that starts with an S, soleus, right? Like the sole of your foot. It comes from the Latin word for sandal in Greek because it's a sandal-shaped muscle. Both of those go and connect, um, although it's cut on this on this side of the cadaver, they go and cut, connect with which, what's the name of that tendon there? Two correct names. Achilles is correct. You can also call it calcaneal tendon. Both those are anatomically correct. Both those names are cool for my exams. Right, both commonly used names. So when you have a calf muscle here? The calf muscles could show up on this on this cadaver. They also might show up, like we walked through the, model, the leg model. I might put them in that format, but there is potentially a fair game. Although I didn't point it out to you guys last time, you can also see right, the tibialis anterior muscle here right, on the lateral side of the tibia. I, I won't put that in the cadaver because I didn't on the cadaver because I didn't do it on the main walkthrough with you guys the first time. You can't see it. 